Hello, I'm uh, going to show you a video here on how to uh, set up Cam Studio to get the smallest file sizes that I've been able to come up with, um, lower than anything I've ever seen on YouTube. I've spent about 25 hours researching and trying to figure this out, and I think I've come up with a, a very good solution. So I thought I'd make a video because I think uh, this will help a lot of people. Uh, so that's the only reason I'm doing it. Um, first of all, uh, I have downloaded Cam Studio, and uh, we're going to get right to it. Uh, the settings that I've found that work the best, uh, out of many videos out there that have many different opinions, uh, but I uh, come to know real quick that uh, not too many people really kind of knew what they were talking about um, and didn't really understand the software very well. I've been using Cam Studio for about five years, uh, but I've never really... Uh, care to upload videos to YouTube. Uh, I've always just uh, put them on a disc and give them to people. <clears throat> so I uh, didn't really care the size. Uh, but now with uh, many of us putting uh, different videos and, and sharing uh, uh, with <laughs> new technology, you know, with uh, Dropbox and iCloud and, and all these cloud services that are out there, and, and as well as YouTube, um, I'm using... Uh, I'm wanting to do more of that. So I had to find a way to get these videos uh, to, to be a good size uh, for, for this purpose. And, uh, and I think I found it. So here it is. Options. First of all, when you open up Cam Studio, you want to go to options, go to video options. Very important. And you want to pick the compressor uh, XVID. It's the one I've found. I've tried all of it. Microsoft is what... Um, it defaults at and it just leaves a huge file size. Um, Cam Studio Lossless, it's an okay uh, compressor. Uh, it didn't work for me. I, I didn't get the size that I wanted. Uh, I couldn't get my, uh, I, I got a lot of skipping in my voice and no matter what mic setup I used, it would always skip. Um, the best one I found was the, the XVIG uh, MPEG. I think in the new version of uh, Cam Studio, it's already in there. If not, you can just Google XVID uh, MPEG uh, 4 Kodak and download it. Uh, real simple. But that's the compressor I'm using. I'm setting the quality at 80. Uh, set keyframes at 25. Very important. I've seen a lot of videos out there where uh, they skip right over this section and say, ah, just use this compressor and, and uh, click and you're done. Um, that's not the case. Uh, this is a very important uh, feature and file size. Uh, so you want to change this to 25 frames. You want to capture frames every 40 milliseconds and set your playback rate at 25. Um, you can play with this. I'm not even 100% satisfied with it, but it's real close. Um, a little test that you can do, I'll show you here in a little bit uh, to figure out what good setting is here. I think uh, these settings have a lot to do with what processor you're using. Um, whether it's dual core, uh, Intel, uh, AMD, I, I don't know. And I think this has a lot to do with that. Um, I haven't figured that much out yet, but I did get this pretty close. I think you'll be satisfied with these settings as far as sign, si uh, file size. Uh, the auto adjust, uh, is I uncheck it. I don't use that auto. Um, click the configure tab, um, XVID HD 720, or if you prefer to use a 1080p, or a 1080, you can do that. Um, I'm us using a 720. If you're using 1080p, uh, then you want to make your make sure your screen size, uh, your computer screen, um, is larger than I think uh, 1300, so or 1360. But anyway, I'm using the 720. A single pass 4.00. I'm not moving this uh, maximum down to one. I'm leaving that. Um, and the rest is, that's it. I hit OK. Um, OK. And then I go to uh, audio options. Audio options for microphone. Uh, this is important. I'm, I'm, I'm going for a mono. You can switch this to 44.1 16-bit stereo if you wanted to. I'm going for a mono, and that's what you should be getting now from me. Um, I just think it's better for voice. Uh, 
and then there's videos that tell you to use this uh, MCI recording. It's the default that Cam Studio puts in there that uses stuff that's already in your computer, but uh, I found by using this, I get too large of a file. So I leave the compressor format at PCM. But here's a very important feature I found. When I change this, it drastically reduced my file size. I checked this interleave and I changed it to 20. Uh, I think the default's 100, but I changed that down to 20 milliseconds. So that's the interleave video and audio. Um, I still may even play with that some more, but I'm very satisfied with the file size I'm getting with these settings. Um, the rest are region. Another teaching out there is change it to a fixed region, which you would enter the width and the height here. 640 by 360 is a typical YouTube size window. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't like uh, how it zoomed everything in, dragging corners, and it, it's great for certain uh, video uh, tutorials, but I want I have a uh, wanted full screen so uh, I didn't do that I set uh, region to full screen and that's one of the things that everybody was saying in their video to get a small size change your uh, fixed region uh, video size and I wanted a video small file with full screen and I achieved that with these settings so go ahead and click full screen if that's what you like and uh, that's it you go to recording right here now I'm going to show you my results with that here are two videos that I have for uh, this training video I made before changing the cam studio settings was this these are the settings um, after using those so you can see a, a 494 megabyte video. Now with those new settings, is only 43.7 megabytes. So uh, that's phenomenal. Um, it drastically reduces the file size. You just have to play with it. I mean, you just have to try it and see. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Took it from 494 down to, uh, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. I was so amazed. And then I thought, well, you know what? Can I get it even smaller? Um, and that's what I did. So uh, to get a smaller video size, I found a free software called Handbrake. Handbrake is a free software. Just Google Handbrake. It's free. Download it. It downloads fast. It's a one-page software here, um, and it's just drag and drop. So it's what I did is, is you can take this video here and drag it over here and just drop it in it. And then name it, test uh, five, pick your destination, I'm going to use desktop, save it, and hit start. Because what that will do down here is you'll see it will start converting it. It only takes a, just a few minutes. Um, while that's doing that one, it will be here, test six and test five. I'll show you the results of, of that. Um, here as soon as it's done. I may even be able to wait for it. It goes pretty quick. Um, you can see it's moving along pretty good. So obviously the larger videos. I did one here. I'm going to show you the results of 1.08 gig of bytes. See it's finished already. So I can just close that. Here's my new file. Here's my file I dragged in there. So we're going to check that one. And then here's the file after converting it. It's just amazing. You're going to love it. Look at this. Took it from 43.7 megabytes down to 12.7. And did not lose. I'm not going to open the videos to show you, but it absolutely does not lose any video quality whatsoever in voice or picture. And uh, it's free. Try it. And you will see that you'll get these kind of results. Now, showing you that here. Here was a video used that I made using just the stock Cam Studio installed and just started recording. And uh, I did a 13 minute video here and it was 494 megabytes. I put it into Handbrake, which is this one. And here were the results.
went from 494 megabytes to 25.7. So handbrake obviously is a huge key. So I thought if that did that to that video, at the normal settings, you can see the results I got using this. And that's why I'm getting these uh, results. This video I made using uh, the current settings that I just went over with in this video, which normally a video like this, at, it was only a five minute video, but still that five minute video You've seen what thir uh, 13 minute video did over here. So even at five minutes, to be only uh, 43.7 uh, megabytes is a huge accomplishment. And then to go one step further and go into handbrake and take it down to 12.7. So that's what I mean. I mean, I'm getting more than half. Now watch this. This is amazing. This second video was right here 1.08 gigabytes I took the same video that I made out of cam studio before I changed the settings and then put it in handbrake and got uh, this result here out of uh, one two gig took a 1.08 gigabytes down to 80.5 megabytes uh, so the truth is in the numbers <laughs> Uh, 25 hours of working at this and I think that's a fantastic result I'm happy uh, I may continue to play with that a little bit uh, where I was talking here about using um, these numbers here under the set key frames every 25 frames is what this does here here's the test basically and you can see mine's not exactly the way I want it but you can test it with a B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Is what you can do there is test it and see how the video is lagging with my voice. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Um, you can see mine's lagging a little bit. The longer you get in your video, it, it tends to do that if those numbers aren't just perfect. So you can see I'm not 100% happy with it, but when you're doing just video demonstrations, um, or especially gaming, you're never going to know that. Um, and you can see my mouse is tracking with my voice pretty good here at 25, 40, and uh, 25. And that's really the main, main thing that you're looking for. So um, XVID MPEG-4 Kodak, Handbrake, uh, two awesome... Uh, uh, using these settings, uh, you know, video options, here they are again, configure, keep that at 4.0, hit OK, OK, and then your uh, audio options for microphone, and put that interleave, check it, and put it at 20, uncheck this USM, and, and you're going to get these same results that I'm getting uh, once you make your cam studio video, which is here. You're going to take that from here, uh, like I just did, and then run it through handbrake and end up with these kind of results. So, uh, sorry for the messy video. <laughs> I'm no way uh, any professional, uh, but I, I knew that uh, people had to see this, so I wanted to get it out there. Uh, 43.7 down to 12.7. I uh, hope this helps you. Have a great day. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to uh, answer. Thank you.